Welcome to the Holy Convocation 2020 Convocation Conversations. I am your host, Apostle Darlin C. Turner, and today I am speaking with the one and the only Miss Callie Day. Welcome, Miss Callie Day. Many blessings. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Listen, I don't know how much some of you know about this woman of God, but she is a powerful vessel. You may remember her on America's Got Talent. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. That I'm is correct. Because I know I've been known sometimes to name the wrong show because they, <laughs> you know, sometimes I get them mis mixed up. But I tell you, if you did not catch Miss Callie Day on America's Got Talent, I want you to know that she took them to church. I started singing the children's choir. My happy place was always singing. <laughs> That's where you could find me. I've always wanted to perform, but that door has never opened. In 2014, I was at church, and a friend of mine uh, happened to record me. Right now, the video has 24.9 million views. And I knew this is my time to be heard. The average pop star age is 19. 19. But you, you have an amazing voice. I'm going to recognize that voice in the crowd. Now that I'm back again, I'm more nervous. There's so many talented singers. I've been nervous before, but this one is a different nervous. This one is really big. This is big. This is big. This is probably my last chance to do what I love to do best. I'm thankful for this opportunity and I hope to win. Amen. <laughs> oh, Callie Day. Hello. How Hello. are you? I am blessed. Yeah, we are blessed to have you here. Thank you. You blew the Thank roof you. out the place the first time. Thank you. Are you going to leave this roof on this time? I plan on probably hurting a couple of folks today, hopefully. <laughs> You know what? I can't wait any longer, so I wish you the best of luck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, sometimes I look down, but I'm afraid I fall. And though the sun is still shining, So excited. We're so excited for this year's Holy Convocation to have a, a woman of this uh, talent and of this magnitude with us that has agreed to come and just bless her with her gift. But we wanted you to get to know our guest a little bit more uh, this year for Holy Convocation. And so, that is why we're having these convocation conversations. And I hope that these will inspire those of you who may be interested or, or with a gift, uh, whether it's to sing or act or just in your journey uh, towards your purpose. It's always something we can glean when we talk to those 
who have been on the journey that we are attempting to go on. So again, thank you so much for agreeing to do this. And I wanted to just start off by you speaking to Liberty Nation a little bit about yourself, Callie. All righty. Well, hello, Liberty Nation. And I wish you all God's blessings on you all's conversation coming up. Um, a little bit about myself. Well, I am a PK. And for PKs, that is a preacher's kid. Um, my family consists of nothing but preachers, deacons, musicians, singers. You married one or the other. I married a tenor. So um, my mom was a first lady, my grandmother, my grandfather, the matriarchs of our whole family. So everybody in the family, that's, that's the route that we had. So um, I didn't have that luxury of how most kids would say, oh, well, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Um, it was only one route. <laughs> Holiness is right. <laughs> you do what you're told. Um, my grandmother, who's the matriarch, um, taught us piano. Um, plus, she was my first voice teacher. Um, so I basically started singing, basically coming out of the womb. So any wow. child, any grandchild or whatever that was born into the family, you, you know, even all my cousins, you know, even though we played sports during high school and all of that, you still learned an instrument and you played in you know, the family's choir. So, you know, like the funerals and, and birthdays and weddings and stuff like that. You didn't have to worry about anybody performing or playing or singing because it was us, the family. <laughs> okay, so, so. It's quite interesting. Okay, so you're a PK, so am I. Right so on. I know what that's like, but <laughs> I wasn't, <laughs> you know, but we didn't have a musical gift. So are you saying that your whole family is musically gifted? We are all musically inclined. Okay. Yes, Mom yes. and dad too, they were singers or musically musicians? Musically inclined. Mommy was an alto second soprano. My aunt plays, she sings. My mother's oldest sister, my other aunt, she's, there's only two soprano, uh, operatic sopranos in our family. Myself and my mother's oldest sister. And Anastella is 94, I think it is, 94. And she still sings. Wow. And, you know, to, and I tell my students, classical singing will sustain you throughout your life and singing if that's what you choose to do. And my, my Anastella is a living witness. So, you know. <laughs> when you say sustain you, when you say yeah. sustain you, in what way? Sustain you as uh, being properly trained to where you can sing all the way up into your senior years. So, I mean, she's been singing classically you know, since day one. And then to see her be 94 and still using the classical technique where her voice is strong, soprano voice is strong. And I'm just like, wow. So yeah, classical technique will sustain you as a singer if that's what you choose to do. So when I teach voice, I teach from a standpoint to where whatever genre you're going to sing in, whether it be pop, rock, whatever, classical technique can go into any of those genres. Those other genres cannot go into classical technique. Okay, so, so do that's you what still I mean by sustaining the voice? Okay, got it. So do you still so you still teach and train other voices today? Yes. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. So my next question was actually gonna be uh when did you discover your gift? So it so it sounds like you were born into this musical family, but born into but, it. <laughs> Yeah, so do you really even have memories of discovering a gift or was it just always 
just kind of your way of life from the beginning. It's just the way of life. I mean, um, when we were babies, you know, we were singing before we, basically before we knew how to walk. <laughs> we were singing. Wow. Um, first, it's God given and he gets all of the glory for that. I make sure, and I call him daddy. I make sure daddy gets his gift. It's his gift. I'm just glad that he allows me to use it, that he entrusts me to bring forth his message through music. 